Hello, Zygen people. Uh, this is Michael Kornfeld calling. I did my first couple cases with the new clinical trial, and I have something I want to share with you. As it turns out, the little vial that you get doesn't have an actual um, label that tells you how many cc's are in here, but I can tell you there's not a whole lot of extra fluid in the vial compared to the 0.25 cc's that they're asking us to deliver. So the first thing I would like to reinforce to you is even though everybody always puts the rubber stopper down when you pull drug out of a vial, that's the standard way to do it, you will not be able to successfully do that if you do it like that. You're gonna to have to keep it so that the, the drug goes to the glass bottom and you have to tilt it a little bit. But even when you do that, the surface tension of the liquid will adhere to the wall of the glass, the vertical wall of the glass, and especially to the undersurface of the rubber stopper, which ironically is concave, and you will lose a lot of drug in the dead space of these surfaces. So what I wanted to sh show you is a little technique that I made up for ketchup and ranch salad dressing at home that enables you to get all of the drug or all of the salad dressing off of the wall and into the part of the bottle that you want it to be in so you can get it all out. And it's just centrifugal force. So if you have your drug uh, and you pop the top off or you haven't popped the top off, what you wanna do is since you want the drug to be driven down to the glass side, is you'll hold it in your hand securely like this and then you will stand up and you'll put your arm down and you will centrifuge it like this, making sure you don't hit your hand on anything. It goes like this. And if you do like that, all the drug will be driven down to the bottom and as long as you don't invert the bottle, all the drug that you could not otherwise have gotten to the bottom because the surface tension is now down there. So when you go in with your syringe, pulling it off the bottom, I was able to get a little more than 0.3 cc's out of the bottle this way. And that way you have enough to go through the dead space of your 31 gauge or your 30 gauge needle and all the air and you can expel roughly about 0.5 cc's so you got it just right. So I thought I'd tell you about my little centrifuge trick. It works really well and without it, I don't think you're gonna be very likely to get the right amount of drug out of this little bottle. Thank you very much.